going. AFC Championship here at Pizza Hut Stadium. And we will kick it away, and Drini's going to get it first. He'll take it from the 19-yard line, and he'll take it out to the 29. And look at these two guys, 17 combined major appearances. They've been there year in and year out. And how ridiculous is that that Drini is even on the list? Like I talked about just a second ago, this guy didn't get to play in Madden 16 or Madden 17. He was too young. He didn't meet the age requirements. But as soon as he got his foot in the door, not only did he walk through the door, he kicked it open. And look at Joke. He's been here nine times already and still hasn't been able to secure that belt. Two of the most experienced guys we have in the entire tournament doing battle. And if there were two guys you would expect to be here this deep into the tournament, these are definitely two of those guys. Nearly 400 grand in career earnings between them. Trini with those two belts. And you're going to get tired of me saying this. Joe still looking for his first. They set their audibles are ready to go. Drini will have Eric Dickerson. That's the danger man for this Jags team. And of course, part of that complexity esports team that's tied in with the Dallas Cowboys. But Drini says, I'm doing this for True Boy. It's bigger than that. Dickerson, one man to beat. And he'll turn the corner and get tripped up at the 12. What a play for Drini. Opens up the game with the Eric Dickerson. And I talked about that secure tackler was going to be huge for Joke. That was why he was able to make that shoestring tackle was Troy Palomalo with the secure tackler. But man, if you're Drini, what a way to open up the ball game. You have a slow, methodical offense and you let me rip an Eric Dickerson big run to start the game. That's going to give Drini all kinds of momentum early on. Eric Dickerson, after the long run, certainly is going to need a breather. And that's why Drini goes to a timeout right here in the opening quarter. And that, what that tells me, if I'm joking, is Drini just wants to go right back to Eric Dickerson right here. So you just have to be ready for the run. He wouldn't call, have called that timeout if he wasn't trying to get Dickerson his energy back so he could go right back to him. And here it goes. It looks like it's going to be that stretch alert X looking. Nope, he's going to audible to the dive. Phillip Rivers up under center. I see a lot of 22 personnel. It's Paulson. Comes in motion. And he will hand it off to Dickerson. And he'll squeeze his way to the five-yard line. That was a quick seven. And that's why Drini likes Eric Dickerson over a guy like Chris Johnson. You can kind of just run into those piles, and you know that big body is just going to fall forward and get you those extra yards. And that's what he did right there for Drini. Six-yard gain. Now you're nearly 100 yards per game. That's in the top 10. Here in the tournament. Second of four now. Paulson once again in motion. And Shazier will lead the way, but Dickerson got caught up. And it's going to bring up a pivotal third and three. Joe trying to get his Hodor on early. Viadrini, you got to assume he's just going to give the ball right back to Dickerson. Can you pick up three yards or not? What type of defense you got if you joke? He's going to call timeout. And Joke will burn a timeout. So both competitors with two timeouts remaining here with 3.15 to go in the first quarter. Scott Cole, RG with you here in the AFC Championship. Who will face Volterax and the Cardinals? Oh, his corner got stuck. And Dickerson will walk in. Touchdown, Drini. That was an easy play call for Drini. Joke left the right side of that field wide open. He tried to base the line at the last second. His cornerback got stuck on his linebacker. Drini goes to the right side. Easy touchdown. And now this is what we've all been waiting for, Scott. How will Drini's defense stack up against this New Orleans offense that Joke has been dominant with all tournament long? Four plays, 71 yards and a touchdown, but this was the key play. Yeah, Dickerson just on his horse, and you see Joe hawks him down, presses that A button. Barely gets the tackle, but Drini, he'll take that. What a way to open up the game if you're Drini Joker from Washington, D.C., Complexity Gaming's very own. 
That's one thing I'll say. Bolterax hasn't trailed a lot in the tournament. As James alluded to before we came in here, this is not new to joke. He's he's trailed at time through this tough AFC. Yeah, and the problem, and for Joke, to his credit, too, he's played against some of the best guys. You go up oh, against yeah. a skimbo, you know, that's kind of going to give you the confidence. But he knows he's got another giant just standing in his way in Trini. And somewhere in the back of his mind, he knows he's been here before and he's never been able to get the job done. you got to wonder, does that mess with his psyche at all? Especially if Trini's able to make a big play on defense early and really put the pressure on Joke. Opens it up with a four-yard run by Lamar Jackson. Of course, Drini beat last year's champ, Pavin, who took down the Madden NFL 19 Club Championship, representing the Raiders. And Lamar will escape out. And can't get past Shazier. And we got a third down situation coming up, third and three. And this is a good adjustment from Drini. He's running some big nickel over G. We've seen him run a lot of dollar, a lot of one, four, six. But obviously that isn't the remedy for this QB blast play. So Drini hit the lab last night with his boy Rage. And it looks like they cook something up to try to contain this QB blast. And it's that big nickel over G. Little four down lineman. His post game interview yesterday he said, I've never faced this offense before and here on third down that's going to be close to the marker it's going to depend on the spot and it's going to be fourth and one. Oh man and here you go if you're dreamy you stay up all night labbing for this offense all those long hours does the lab work pay off right here on fourth and one and hit right at the marker but he will get the first down Good job by Joke, not to mess around, not anything fancy. Just run forward and pick up that yard with the quickness. Keep the drive going. That was a big conversion for our guy Ray Dell. Seen him quick snap it when he knows he just needs a yard or two. He was able to punch it in on Skimbo in a four down situation to win the ball game as Lamar gets caught up in the backfield. Look at the lap work of Drini and this big nickel over G. He's just running a cover two-man scheme, it looks like. He's bringing those safeties deep into the box. He has eight in the box. You got those great cornerbacks that can keep up with the speed, so you leave him one-on-one -on -one in man coverage. Look at him. He brings those safeties down. Now he's got eight goons just sitting there in the box. Everyone else is man-to-man. -man. Lamar. Trying to buy some time, trying to get to the edge. Nothing's there. Oh, man, Trini is getting a justy right now, and I don't think Joke likes it. And if you're Joke, this is an awkward third and eight. You don't really want to go to the QB blast right here, but your passes have been bottled up. You got to think Trini's catching them off guard with this over G defense. Trini makes the most pre-play snap adjustments on defense. Out of our 128 that made it yeah, to by, the tournament. By far the most adjusty player we have left in the yeah. tournament. 39, yeah. he throws it into coverage, oh, and it's picked off by Dion. Th this guy, Trini Joker, he just, if, the, if, the, if these players had abilities, he'd have the clutch ability. Every time it seems to be a big game, he comes through time and time again making the adjustments he needs to make, making the plays he needs to make. And right there shuts down this Joke offense that's been so high powered all tournament long. And Joke comes back here on first down and able to shut down Eric Dickerson. And yeah, he's gonna chew clock and take this to the second quarter. You said he needed to take the air out of the ball. And after the INT, he has done so. He's had the ball for the majority of the first quarter in a 7-0 ball game. Drini on top with the ball at the end of one. You think you have the best Madden knowledge around? Put it to the test with a new Twitch extension. Climb the leaderboard by earning points for every trivia or prediction question answered correctly. We'll also be dropping codes for a 93 overall Lamar Jackson. These are first come, first serve. So make sure you pay close attention throughout the broadcast. You've seen what Lamar Jackson's been able to do, and of course there's a lot of guys in the Sickers Players Lounge that wouldn't mind a little Lamar on their team.
Oh yeah, those guys have all been bugging me for Lamar in those players' lounge. You know who you guys are. Trying to hook the players up at some point as well today. And that Twitch extensions, that's cool stuff, huh? Love to see it. The stream ever evolving here at the MCS. And only getting better. 7-0 ball game as we head to the second frame. Quarter number two is second and ten coming up for Drini. After Deion Sanders came up with a big INT. It's the touch pass to John Ross. And Ross trying to turn the corner. Now get forced out of bounds at the 50-yard line, but that'll pick up five. And here you go with your joke. You're a defensive player. You're a defensive guru. You're the leader of the great EMB crew. Now's the time for you to step up and get some of this momentum back on third and five. Torrey Holtzman, Drini's go-to guy in these situations. Rivers forces. That's a tight window. And we're going to have a fourth and five and come in. What are you doing, RG? Drini's going to go for this. Why not? Put the pressure on Jokes. Stay aggressive. He still needs to score seven if you don't get it right here. Your defense has been playing great. But if they're joke, you need to stop right here. These are the plays that get you back in this ball game. Philip Rivers will throw that one right to White, and it's a user pick. And he might take this to the cribbo. Can Dickerson get there? He will. And forces him out at the seven yard line, but Joke is in business. That's huge if you joke the yik six, uh, almost the yik six, but if you're dreaming, you make the tackle, now you have a chance to hold the door. But if you joke, you have to punch it in right here. That was a huge play for him to get back in this ball game. He's gonna go scum. <laughs> joke trying to do a dirt back QB draw. And it didn't work out for him. As you can see, he tried to glitch, and he got glitched. <laughs> Paid the price. <laughs> Second and goal now. He had a few of those work out. That time it was no. And here comes a third and goal. Yeah, that's a super scum tactic Joke has in his arsenal. Drini was worried about it. It's a little glitchy QB draw out of pistol. No one's really seen it before, but Joke had it in his bag of tricks, but it didn't work out for him. Now this is it. If you're Drini, you got to hold the door. So Lamar will carry it ahead for two, but now here's a fourth and goal. He's going to get his boot out. How stingy is Drini, and that just shows how important it was for Joke to get that interception and at least get himself in field goal range to get these points because he cannot move on offense with this QB blast. Drini with elite level world-class lap work has this play completely bottled up so far. Seven to three. So only a field goal after the turnover. So we take a look at the Snickers replay. And I don't know what's bigger here. Is it the interception? Or is it Drini making the tackle, preventing it from being a pick six? It's a game of inches. Everyone's staying stingy, not giving each other an inch. Uh-oh. Dickerson with a spin move. Make it two, and he picks up the first down. Getting a little sticks in with Dickerson. A little spin move. Whoopsie. Joke fortunate to make that tackle. And Drini told us from the start, the key to my success in this tournament is defense and Eric Dickerson. And if that wasn't spot on analysis, I don't know what is. Because those are the two things that really have kept him going all tournament long. A little double spin cycle, rinse and repeat. Now up the middle, four yards shy of the midfield. And I think we're going to the two minute warning. This game just going by so fast, Scott. There's so little room for error. And if you're Drini, if you can go down and finish this half, getting yourself seven, going up 14-3, that'll do wonders to your chances to make in this final. And let's not forget, Scott, both of these guys have made $40,000. Winner of this game guarantees themselves $75,000. So it's a $35,000 minimum that you can make for winning this game. Dickerson picks up the first down, still on his feet at the 43. And Drini will use his second timeout. That'll stop the clock with 1.15 to go in the half. 
He leads by four. Dickerson, right up the gut. Dion won't catch him. And Drini on the board twice. And look at Drini. He had a free run into the end zone, and he's looking a stiff arm of defender as he, like, ran into him. That was like Spike from the Little Giants when he's trying to hop the guy down. That's the ball carrier. And the extra point is up, and it's good. Five plays, 75 yards, taking up a minute 44. So he throws the interception, been able to come back, and now up two scores. It's just balanced attack, Scott, just an elite level run game. No abilities, he just, look at this stick work. Just able to find the hole every single time, knows where there's space. Look at him trying to truck the defender, add some insult to injury. Joke not feeling it. So 106 to go for Joke here in the first half. Trailing by 11. Does have those two timeouts as he'll start the drive at the 30 yard line. Journey from Washington DC, Joke just outside New York City. Jackson fires, has a man and it's Marvin Harrison. Pass midfield at the 49, and there's a runoff. Yeah, the clock's ticking, 40 seconds. That's not a bad idea to go ahead and hurry up. You know you maybe want to run a play on the ground, use your timeout, one remaining. There you go. If you're a joke, this is huge. Getting points and making this one possession ball game is everything for you. A touchdown is nice, but most important is at least getting the field goal here. This is a pivotal 38 seconds for him. Drini all up in the box here on second down. Lamar's going to use his legs, but can't get out of there. Now, if you're joke, you got to be careful with Lamar. The last thing you can do is afford a turnover right here. And instead of you getting points, you give some to Drini. You got to be aggressive, but at the same time, you got to be kind of cautious. Let's see if Drini can hold here on third and seven. Lamar gets outside. They won't get him. And it does look like he'll pick up the first down at the 38. Trini knew he had a chance to maybe get him and call timeout. Getting out of bounds right there is so big for Joke. You have enough time to run this ball right here, yep. Oh, it's a hit! And recovered by Joke. He'll keep the football, oh and the clock's God. on the move. 12 crazy. seconds left in the half. He's just going to spike this ball, but how fortunate are you with your joke running reckless with Lamar and Trini claps you. Fortunate to recover that fumble if you joke. This is going to be a 48-yarder to make it a one-possession game here at the half. It'll be Boswell here for joke. And the kick is up. It's got plenty of leg. And that brings us to the half. Drini with 14. Joke can only manage two field goals. And the differential is eight. A reminder, we have something very special coming up later. In addition to our final, in honor of one of the 100th season of the NFL, we've been announcing each week new members of the NFL 100 all-time team. The selections for wide receiver are being announced right now. At 9.15 Eastern, just before the final, we'll tell you which one of those receivers will be available in Madden Ultimate Team. That's right, tonight at 9.15 Eastern as the Snickers Lounge. Those guys are going nowhere, RG. Yeah, look at all my guys in there. You see little man right there, he's on his phone. He's got his Browns hat on. Trying to cheer on this guy, Joke. I know little Tony's in there somewhere with the brown scully. Those EMB guys came in today all decked out in their brown gear. Trying to cheer on their boy, Joke. As we head to the second half, Scott Cole and RG along with you. And we are just 10 minutes away to finding out who is going to face Volterax and the Cardinals in the final. Yeah, either way, it's a win-win situation. I'd love to see either one of these guys face off against both in the finals, but it's only going to be one of them. And this second half right here is going to dictate who it's going to be. Oh! Lamar! Runs past two and then just runs away with it. And we wonder if he'll go for two and try to tie things up. 
But that's the way you start the second half. Oh, man, and look at the calmness of Joke. He's just like business as usual. Now he's going to go for two in this situation and try to tie the ball game. And if you're Dreamy, this is frustrating. You played such a good first half. You had all the momentum, and then you just come out in the second half. You allow Joke to punch you square in the mouth and turn it into a ball game. This is going to be a huge two-point conversion right here, Scott. 14-12. to 12. Can Joke tie it up? Here from the two-yard line on a two-point conversion. This is a significant play in this game. And he's going to take the delay a game here and back it up. He's going to kick his field goal here. Joke talked to me about this earlier in the tournament. He told me, gee, I want to go for two. Even besides the situation, just when I score, I want to go for two because I feel good about my QB blast. However, if I come out there to go for two and I don't like what I see on the defensive end, I'm just going to take a delay a game and kick the field goal. So that's what he did at the PAT. So that's what he did right there. There must have been something in Drini's defense he didn't like, took the delay. What a way to start the half as Lamar goes around the right edge and Jerome Baker with a huge missed tackle. Oh, both of those linebackers just an inch away from tripping up Lamar and look at Drini. He's like, you got to be kidding me. I've had it bottled up all game long, but like we know, all it takes is one run. It's an explosive offense. And Dickerson will work his way to the 32. 11 carries for... 149 yards, two touchdowns for Drini and that Eric Dickerson. He's been toting the mail all tournament long. Here for Drini. And Dickerson will spin back inside and maybe get a few. Here comes the third and five. Interested to see what Drini does here. He's like to go to this gun tight slots and run inside zone a lot of times in this tournament we've seen in this situation. But there is a chance he goes to the air with this hot route master, Phillip Rivers. The man from NC State in the gun. Rivers fires to the edge and it's Marvin Harrison. That'll beat Denzel Ward to the football, and it's a first down. And this is the balanced attack we told you about with Drini. You think it's going to be all Eric Dickerson, but then you forget about Phillip Rivers with Hot Route Master, Torrey Holt, Devin Hester, Marvin Harrison. He has other weapons, and he knows when to use them. Right now, he's got some blocks to the outside. Will Bullock catch him? No, sir. Drini once again. It's a hat trick. Three touchdowns. For the man that wears the goggles, Eric Dickerson. Now with this extra point, Drini's going to make it an eight-point ball game. And if you're joke, it's probably good that you didn't go for two because if you went for two and you didn't convert there, this would have been a two-possession ball game. Fortunate for joke, all he needs is the touchdown and the two-point to tie it. He's going to have to respond. Both of these clubs that they're playing for, as we take a look at this run again, Dickerson to the outside. Bullock doesn't have the speed. Yeah, where is, if you joke, where is your user defender? You figure he'd be out there sealing the edge. And now you got to deal with Drini in this big nickel over G. This four down front he's been running on you, giving you fits all day long. And I like what Joke's doing here. He's going to audible to the gun bunch. Knowing that Drini's not in his normal base pass defense, it should open up your passing attack if you joke. Because this over G obviously does a good job against that QB blast play. Lamar buying some time. There's nowhere. He's got plenty of it, but nowhere to go, and he can't throw it away. That's a huge sack coming up by Jerome Baker. Jesus Christ. Yeah, joke. He has some nice... No some not so nice words he just said about him own self. He is disappointed in taking that sack. Now gets himself in a third and 22, and this is not what his offense is built for. Oh, he might have it. Nope. He's going to run, try to get some of that back and slide down. Good decision out of the 34. That'll gain 14. And so it's a fourth and eight coming around the corner. And here we go. We talk about significant plays. There may be none more significant than this because if Joke does not get the first down, 
going for this. Drini will be in field goal range, which will allow him to milk clock and make it two possessions with a field goal. This is a momentum play if I've ever seen one, Scott. We got a situation here. Lamar and Joke here on fourth and eight. He got some big fourth down conversions in his game against Skimbo. Play clock's winding down. You got to hurry up if you joke. Looking with Lamar. Throws to the outside, a one-handed grab. It's Tyreek Hill at the 47. Move the chains. Just a lot of high-level play right there. Joke stays in the pocket, waits for the crossing route, clicks on in possession, catches Dream. He clicked on his defender, got a hit on the receiver, couldn't knock the ball out. But due, due to Joke's click on and possession catch, he was able to hold on and convert and keep himself completely in this ball game. 25 seconds away from the start of the fourth quarter. On a second and 12, he'll check it down to Marvin, and he'll move it across midfield to the 47. Here comes a third and four, and it looks like we're going to see this play on the other side. What a AFC championship it has been. 21-13 as we head to the fourth quarter presented by Snickers. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. There's the Snickers Lounge. You can see all the 32 teams represented as they made their way through this tournament. And we're just down to three teams remaining. The Cardinals are waiting in the big game, headed up by Volterax. And then here in the AFC, we got five minutes to go, RG. 21 to 13. Yeah, this is it. And I'm liking the adjustment that I'm seeing from Joe. Trini seems to have this QB blast bottled up, but he's doing it out of a unique defense, which isn't his normal pass defense, which is causing Joke to go to some of his passing formations and mix up his offense a little bit. And it's given him some success and allowed him to stay in this ball game. If you joke, you can't get in love with the blast. You got to continue to dot up the field. Harrison over in the left slot here on third down. First play to start the quarter. Joke finds the tender spaces. All the way down to the 27. And it's going to be first and 10. And Joke showing the versatility of his offense. He's been catching a lot of flack. Everyone's like, you QB blast bum. You just spam the same play. Now he's showing you that if you are in a specific defense, he's not scared to stand in the pocket or roll out with Lamar and dot your life away. This is just good execution so far by Joke on offense. Great adjustment. Lamar. Straight up the oh, middle. Man. Untouched. Oh, man. And Joke right back into it. And now we'll see. No, he will not go for two. He's going to make this a one-point game with 4.18 to go. That's interesting, but you heard him. He said one stop. He's just trying to believe in his defense. And this allows him to get a little bit more aggressive on defense because then again, if you let up a quick touchdown, it really isn't the end of the world because you still have all three timeouts and it will still only be a one possession ball game. Not chasing the points and no one's chasing Lamar. One stop! Oh, man. Brings it to a one point game, 21-20. We've had some huge runs in this one. It's been the Eric Dickerson and Lamar Jackson show. And now time for Dickerson to go to work. This is hilarious. Joke is literally running a defense. These two, before Drini's game in, against Pav, and these guys were here earlier in the practice area practicing this exact run defense because this is what Drini thought Pavin was going to run on him. So, and it had Drini backed up, but then Drini literally started finding runs that worked against it. So these guys went from labbing with each other the other day, working on things, to just doing battle on the virtual gridiron. Got a kick out of that. 3.40 to go. 
One step closer to the belt and 100 grand. It's been dive every time he's motioned that tight end. For the weak Dickerson side. won't get there. Here comes third down. 15 carries, 209 for Dickerson, three touchdowns. But this might be the biggest play of the game thus far. We go Trini in that strong wing, twin tight end. Now he's going to audible to some weak. It'll go to Dickerson. Dickerson spins away from one. Can't get away from another. As Denzel Ward somehow made the stop. Oh, man, here we go. If you're joke, you have a chance to get all the momentum on this fourth down. You've been trying to get here time and time again, and there's always a roadblock stopping you. These are the type of plays you're going to have to make if you want to be a champion. Can you blow it up on fourth down or not? Trini's going to go for it in his own territory. Rivers needs two. Throws it, has a man, and Hester makes a big play across the midfield at the 43. Oh, my gosh. And we're talking about the versatility that Joke's been showing on offense. Let's talk about Drini Joka. Whenever he needs a big play, just steps back with that hot route master, cooks up a hottie dotty. And that's why he's known as one of the clutchest Madden players on this circuit. This always seems to come through with the play when he needs it. That was... Such a big one for him. Dickerson has some room. Can't spin back against Palomalu. And Joke's going to use a timeout here with 2.21 to go. Trying to get it back before the two-minute warning. Yeah, now this is officially the nitty-gritty, and I'm not talking HQ Scott Joke. Digging into his timeouts already. Coming up on the two-minute warning. The room for error is no longer there. You got to get as stingy as you've ever been if you're Ray Dalbrito. And if you're Drini, a first down could put you into your first ever club championship finals. He's won three different final, three different club championships with three different teams, but has never made it to the final game. Maybe the toughest tournament in the history of Madden to win. Remember, this young man came into this tournament with $204,000 in career earnings, and he's not even 21 years old yet. A win here guarantees him $75,000 in this tournament with a chance to turn it into 100. But first things first, he needs to pick up this first down. Second and 12 after the loss of two. Goes back to Dickerson, and he'll just flat out run over somebody. Inside the red zone. And Joke is out of timeouts. This is it. This is the game, Scott. Let's interact with the chat. Give me a one chat if Drini gets it. Give me a two if Joke holds the door and gets the stop. Needs five yards. Got to get to the 14-yard line to maybe seal the ball game. Five. And Dickerson will get the first down and more and lay down. And that oh. will take us to the two-minute warning. Oh, my. I just got pounded. Oh, babies. And look at it. Joke knows it's over with that first down. Drini's going to be able to go ahead into 